Hello, this is Don Martin with Website Pipeline. The goal of today's video is to review our standard customer portal, our B2B customer portal, uh, integrated with Sage 100 ERP. The diagram that we're viewing today on the screen gives everybody a 10,000 foot view of our product and the different pieces that are involved in the integration. So the first piece is uh, Website Pipeline will come in and build, host, and support the uh, B2B customer portal. Uh, the second piece is your Sage 100 ERP system. And the third piece is our ERP driver. This is the sync tool that is moving and passing data back and forth. So that sync tool has three jobs. The first job is to pull up a bunch of initial information during the building of the portal. Uh, things like customers and addresses, products and inventory, shipments and pricing, taxes, invoices, sales order history, and payments. The second job of the sync tool is to not only push up an initial load, but is also to monitor these tables as the portal is live to give accurate and up-to-date information as any of the content in these tables inside of Sage 100 gets added, modified, or deleted. The third piece of the sync tool is to monitor the portal for when customers doing their transactions. So that could be customer edits, uh, sales orders, credit cards uh, for their transactions, payments, uh, invoices as well as uh, RMAs. Uh, the integration is a real-time bi-directional integration. There is no additional hardware for the customer to uh, to purchase and the only thing that is needed is a standard internet connection to your Sage server. The other great benefit of our portal is that it is integrated with Sage but it is not connected to Sage 100, meaning it is not dependent upon Sage to be running for the portal to be active for your customer base. So we're going to dive into the portal um, you can see the login page here. So this is a B2B specific portal login, uh, meaning the, the customers will require a username and password to enter the portal. Once they do, uh, they are now exposed to their dashboard. So this is your customer specific dashboard for your customers. You're gonna see a couple ordering tools here. This would be uh, the ability for you as the owner of the portal to show and broadcast all of your product information out to your customers. So whether that's a standard shopping, browsing category, searching for different product information, uh, that could be a price and stock report, meaning customers can have the ability to see the products that you have available, what the quantity available is, and their specific pricing for those products. Favorites list, which is more of a grouping of products that customers can drill in and save different products to a list of or a grouping of products together, as well as a standard quick order form. So if any of your customers are ordering via phone, fax, and email. They're probably already, probably already filling out some sort of a standard ordering form. Uh, this is the ability to come in and add products to a form, enter their quantity, add to cart, and proceed with their ordering. We have developed a lot of different ways that customers can view, find, and, and for you to broadcast your product information. As we understand that customers order in the manner in which they think, and not always the way that you want them. So the B2B customer portal is built to have multiple options for your customers to view, find, and order your products. So we're gonna drill into uh, some product information here, uh, as well as pulling up Sage 100 to show you how that product looks and resides inside of Sage. So if we pull up the Motorola antenna, uh, we can see descriptions, images, categories, related products, and all of the pricing logic is being pulled out of Sage 100 uh, for customer level pricing. So I'm logged into the portal, uh, I'm viewing my specific pricing as well as my volume or uh, uh, quantity discounts that are made available to me. So if I were to pull up Sage 100 and view this customer or view this product, uh, I could see the Motorola antenna. Uh, if I were to make a quick update, if I were to go in and drill into our pricing uh, as a customer who's logged into the pricing, uh, I can view my customer price level so I can view exactly what I'm ordering and what my current pricing is. So as this information, again, as the sync tool uh, is viewing this information, but is also monitoring this information for edit, add and edits uh, inside of Sage 100. The goal of that is to eliminate you having to manage two different databases and to keep Sage 100 your main system of record for your company, your customers, and your products. So I just made a quick little edit here inside of Sage 100 to that product name. I just added a one, two, three inside of the uh, the product name information. If I were to come back out to the portal, again, eliminating me having to have two different databases, Sage 100 and the portal to manage, the sync tool is gonna to do a lot of that heavy lifting for you. So once I hit refresh, the name is now updated. And again, keeping Sage 100 my main system of record. 
Uh, if once I proceed and add to cart, we're going to go ahead and walk through the, the checkout and ordering process for your customers. Uh, we are exposed to um, different uh, things that are preloaded and pre-populated into the portal for your customers. Again, this is your customer contact information, bill to and ship to address information so customers can come in, add or edit and change or use their current address information that is already on file. Uh, then I go to the payment page. This is the ability uh, to do a couple different things. One, I can go ahead and select what shipping method I would like to use on this particular order. Uh, sales tax is calculated either through the standard Sage tax tables or through Avalara. Uh, I can come in and select what shipping address, or excuse me, what shipping method um, I would like to use for this particular order. And then I can also select what payment I would like to do uh, and, and transact with, with this particular order. So I am logged in, it knows that I'm on terms. So I have the ability to submit a purchase order for this particular order, or I can make this pay, or I can make this order and pay it with a credit card. The other benefit of this is that you, of the own, you as the owner of the website or the portal, can also tell what customers have what ability to see what payment method as well on the portal. So once I place the order, the website is now generating an order number, uh, 520. It's also sending me, the user of the portal, an email confirming that that order was placed, and also you as the owner of the portal, an email to let you know when that order is in. And then we can also have the ability to copy your sales reps on the order confirmation so they know when their customers are ordering on the portal. So the sync tool is now working really hard. It's processing that order inside of Sage 100. There's no additional modules inside of Sage that need to be, uh, that need to be upgraded or, or set up. Uh, and once I go into my order information, I will see order number 520 placed here on the portal. Uh, it's in just as if a customer service rep were to hand key this information. I can come in and add or change or edit the information. So if a customer made an error on the order, uh, messed up on their uh, order totals, uh, or forgot to add a specific uh, uh, SKU or line item to this particular order, all of the edits can be made inside of Sage 100 prior to invoicing it and orders cannot be edited on the portal once they're placed, but you as the customer service team can go in inside of manage and, and edit the information inside of Sage. So once I hit accept, I went ahead and just added another line and changed my quantity. Once I go and hit, hit accept, the sync tool not only received the order, it also pushed the order already back out to the portal. So here's 520 here. I can drill into the details. I can see that my order is in. It's not updated yet. The sync tool is updating it. So once I hit refresh a few times, uh, within about a minute or so, the integration is working and pushing content back out to the portal. So once I go in back into Sage 100 to fulfill that order, there's my update. Once I go back into Sage 100 to fulfill my order, we're gonna walk through that process. Now this is a standard fulfillment process inside of Sage 100. Your processes may be a little different. Uh, but we're going to walk through just sort of a standard invoicing, shipping, uh, and fulfilling of this particular order. So we're going to go ahead and enter our tracking numbers for our shipments. And we're going to go ahead and proceed and walk through the standard invoicing and shipping of this particular product. So yes, we want to ship it. And we're going to go ahead and accept that particular order and go ahead and process it. Now, uh, again, one other step of the standard fulfillment process is inside of Sage, uh, Sage 100 is to um, run a daily sales report. So we're gonna go ahead and do that here real quick. And this is not only sending out the information outside of Sage, but it's also allowing the sync tool to update the portal, meaning it's going to be pushing the new invoice information. It's also pushing out uh, the shipment tracking number that we just submitted. So the way I want you to think about this while we're waiting for this update to happen is sort of like an, uh, um, sort of like a um, online bank account for your bank. So as you log into your local bank account, whether it's Wells Fargo or Bank of America or whoever it is, uh, all of once you log in, you're viewing all of your customer specific information. This is your portal. So you can balance your checking account, view your direct deposits, uh, move money around, make a payment on your loan, uh, whatever it is. That's a very similar uh, analogy for this particular portal here. So not only can I browse and shop and view product information to order, but I can also drill in and view my customer specific information, meaning I can view all my sales orders. Now this is now showing complete, meaning I can drill in and view the details, my shipments, my invoices. I can track my order and find out what's going on. I can do all of my, what we call customer service type activities inside of the portal. I can view all my shipments together. I can view all my invoices together. 
I can view the aging report for my particular invoices. So I'm on a 30 day net terms. This is saying I have 21 days until this is noticed or this invoice is due. I can view all of this information here live on the portal. So this is again, a sort of a 10,000 foot view of our product solution. Uh, please visit www.websitepipeline uh, and contact us for more information and to view your own specialized demonstration. Thank you very much and have a great day.